Jean, that was a really complete performance from your side tonight. What pleased you most about it? Yeah, we, uh, I think we could have made it a bit easier, if I'm honest. Um, we had a lot of chances again, didn't really kill them off uh, to say. But for second half, we broke well and uh, broke a play second half and uh, a good couple of goals for us. We would have made it easy for ourselves. Mm. And a couple of players getting off the mark for the season as well, Morgan. Uh, Ferrier and Josh Ginelli as well. Um, what have they shown you in the first few games of this season? What they're about? They're, they're eager. They, they want to. Uh, they want to progress. And uh, they're a club that are going to progress with, with the football club. They're going to go forward. That's the aim for this season. As I said it's still early days. We won't get carried away with it. It's uh, we're happy with the performance, but we'll we'll get ready for the Saturday. I guess they must show you where you've got options this season as well, which also perhaps haven't had in the past. And players like Kinsler and Kane Wilson showing you tonight that uh, there's a bit of depth to this side as well. Yeah, no, just, uh, we just said that to him in the change room. We just said uh, the lads, the three lads that came in, absolutely outstanding. So we came on to our country room. So it's, uh, it's good, it's a squad game. Uh, just 11 players, they're going to get through the full season. It's a squad game, so when you get the opportunity to chat, have the shirt on on a Saturday or on a Tuesday night, so all they can do is be the best of themselves and then uh, the best of the team, and then it gives me a problem. Then the uh, decision is made. What did you think of Wilson in his uh, first start? He done well. He done well. He's a young, young man, and uh, just had a chat with him there. I think uh, a little bit too eager just for their free kick for the goal where the goals came from. But that, that's a part of his development. But you show boy's got such a bright future uh, ahead of him, and uh, as from uh, regarding so highly. Not quite to be for Andy Cook against his former club, but uh, he had plenty of chances. And I think we were saying as well that him and Ferry are getting off the mark early on in your sort of careers this season. Uh, it's going to be important for you and for their confidence, isn't it? Yeah, a lot for, for them themselves. You, you, you want to get off the mark and they've got off there early and uh, Cookie would have a seat and whatever he is and he's a person who wants to score goals and uh, he'll be in there and he'll uh, be happy with the result of the team but he'll be, be a little bit disappointed in personal now. I want that, I want, I want him to have that disappointment because I know he'll keep arriving in them areas and he, he won't shy for me but he'll keep himself in the middle of them goals and uh, one of four for the two. Yes, you didn't make many changes for this game either. I guess I mean, you wonder whether that was to sort of keep the partnerships developing that, you, that you're developing in this side, um, and obviously a big scoreline, a big win. Um, are, you, are you happy with that? I mean, risk is it, is it maybe that you're taking keeping so many uh, first team players out there tonight? No, I wouldn't say it's a risk. Uh, we believe in the conditioning that we've done from pre-season, and uh, we believe that we're, we're in a good place. We're, uh, we've periodised training correctly, and uh, we're only going to get stronger and uh, get over the course of the season. We'll uh, come through again tonight, no soft tissue injuries, and uh, that's something that we can manage. And, uh, I'm happy with uh, bringing Nick across, uh, Nick Barley Tolvin, he's um, full credit to him. He's built a pre-season programme, and um, we're happy that he's gone for the days, as I said. Yeah, I guess the idea is to develop a, a combination between uh, Morgan Ferrier and Andy Cook up, up front. Do you think you're starting to see a bit of understanding between those two? Yeah, yeah as you, you can, you can see. It's, as I said, it's the early days. Morgan only turned up on the Friday before the first game of the season, and uh, so it's straight into the deep end. But uh, the great lads, it's a great buzz in the changing room, and we, we just need to keep developing, developing it. And that'll only continue by uh, putting good performance in, performances in, and picking points. <coughs> it keeps the momentum going as well. At the start. Yeah, that's ma that's massive. It's something we spoke about momentum and. Uh, we put a uh, uh, team out there tonight thinking that we can go on and win the game. And it's going to be a difficult test coming in. It always is. And um, if you've got them playing good, good football, and I think the first half, it could have gone either way. Is it a relief for Morgan? Because he's been electric, hasn't he, in the first two games? He's been so unlucky not to score, but he has got that goal now. Is it sort of a monkey off his shoulders, do you think? Yeah, to say, to say that. But he could have, he could have got two before, and the kids, Ellis has pulled two unbelievable blocks off. And they, they keep going. They keep going, and that, that's that hunger, that, that rawness and determination and that desire. But, I know that they had in likes of it in Morgs and in Cookie. Josh Gordon would be exactly the same. Uh, as I said, he's had a short period in the 23s, but he's, he's, a, he's a couple of men's football before he went there, so he'll have that, that nowhere to get one to be in the box and go and score goals. And uh, I like him, we've got three forwards. They'll be desperate to be a force away the team. We've got to put the young guys back in them, who will do part of it as well. Can tell her for Osborne tonight. I take it that's because you're building up Aussie's fitness. He's not. Yeah, yeah. Who's had a yeah. Season, Look, here, I've, we could. I could have played him and uh, had a good chat with Ozzy and uh, he wanted to play. But it's just a point of you thinking, you know what, we just we can manage it and what it's in our control, we'll uh, control over it. But Liam Kinsella came in and I thought he was fantastic. Yeah, tonight. Kins, absolutely outstanding. As I said, all the players that came tonight were outstanding. And that gives me decisions to make for the weekend though. And, uh, as I said, it's a squad game and it's a team game and there's a good togetherness in there and uh, that's what we'll keep building, keep, uh, keep developing. Can we just have an update on the centre-back search? Loan windows open till the end of the month, is it coming along? Yeah, there's still a couple of weeks in there. So yeah, look, Jack and John are doing fantastic and uh, uh, Jack's had a little knock. But as I said, we, we're looking, we're hoping looking and I'm hoping, hopefully something for them to play over the next uh, few days, if not into next week. It's still definitely be an addition before the end of the window.